Hey everybody, I'm so glad you joined us for this week's episode because you're in for a real treat. Brian Hughes is our insider freshwater reporter for the entire state of Texas, and he covers all those waters each week on our Southwest version. This week, everybody gets to see him because he's guest hosting the show from one of his favorite lakes in the entire region. It's gonna be a lot of fun, glad you're along with us. Fox Sports Outdoors is on the air right now. It's time for your weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the Southwest region. This is Fox Sports Outdoors. Hi folks, and welcome to this week's Fox Sports Outdoors. I'm Brian Hughes, and I normally do the Texas freshwater fishing reports called Lone Star Lakes for Fox Sports Outdoors, but this week I have some really big shoes to fill. I'm gonna be guest hosting for Mr. Barry Stokes from right here, Jim Chapman Lake. Formerly known as Cooper Lake, Jim Chapman is celebrating its 25th anniversary, and we're gonna to try to catch some of the hybrid stripers that live in this lake. It also has a good population of bass and catfish. As we go through the next half hour, we're also gonna bring you your local fishing reports from your region via our inside reporters. I'm gonna put the tracker Pro Team 195 in the water, and while I do that, we're gonna go back to the FSN studios and check in on your weekly planner. According to the Salooner Tables, the best times to be on the water this weekend will be early in the mornings and again in the late afternoon on both Saturday and Sunday. Expect the sun to rise at 645 and set at 821. And evenings will feature a crescent moon that is 15% visible. We'll be right back with all of the latest fishing reports from around the area. And I'll return on the Ask the Pro with fishing legend Kevin Van Dam. First though, here are some of the entries from our Costa Catch of the Week contest. These pictures did not win, but we thought you might enjoy looking at some of the nice catches. We'll have this week's winner at the end of the show. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price, every day. Lose, fueled by passion, driven by innovation. Feel the difference. Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland Lures. With our baits, a good day of fishing is in the bag. And Strand Fishing Lines, the standard of dependability. Here we go. Oh, they pull like a freight train. Oh, look at it. <laughs> All right, come on now. Come on, this is a good fish. I can see him. Easy, easy. So important to have your drag set properly. Here we go. Come on now, Mr. Fish. Be nice to me today. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now that, folks, is a good solid Cooper Lake, Jim Chapman Lake hybrid striped bass. That's what we came out here to do today. Now the hybrid striper, you have to know, is a scientifically created fish. It's a cross between the white bass and the striped bass. The male striped bass with a female white bass is called a sunshine bass. You flip that over and do the female striped bass and the male white bass, you get a palmetto bass. It's called palmetto, incidentally, because these were first created in the 60s in South Carolina, the Palmetto State. They made it to Texas in the 70s, and Parks and Wildlife does a great job of stocking these things. As a matter of fact, they've put over 2 million fish like this in the lake in the last 10 years. That's a good one. He's not a giant, but he's sure a good, solid fish. Whew, we'll come back and try and catch another one. Right now, let's check in with your local lake reports from your region. 
Hey friends, Captain Kevin Broussard here with your Fox Sports Outdoor Report. We're talking Louisiana, we're talking saltwater. Tell you what, we're in the dog days of summer right now. You can see right here, got a good box of trout today and some nice triple tail. Got Matt and Bryce behind us, they both got their limits of trout. When the weather allows, you can go fish the jetties, the surf, or the short rigs right offshore. And I tell you what, lots of trout are out there. And if you find some trash floating, there's a few triple tail to be caught. Most of the fish are coming off of eighth and quarter ounce lead heads with some soft plastic. I tell you what, most of the trout today were a little bit suspended, like three or four feet off the bottom. But uh, right now along the whole Louisiana coast, saltwater fishing is great. You got some birds working up in the lake on smaller school fish. Got a few redfish showing up in the marsh. Tell you what, y'all wanna make a trip, the number's on the screen. Give us a call, shoot old Cajun an email. Tell you what, it's great down here. Till next time, this is Captain Kevin Broussard saying happy fishing and may God bless. There he is. Oh, okay. All right, here's another one. Oh, he feels like a good one too. These fish pull like a freight train. Look at that. Look at that. Really want to watch your drag when you're fishing for these things. I broke one off earlier because I didn't have my drag properly set. Here he comes. All right, here he comes. Oh, he's not tired yet. He's not finished yet. Oh, I think he got around something. Or he's a beast. Okay, here we go. I see what happened here. Uh, he is what they call foul hooked. He has got that hook uh, in his belly. The fish are schooling out here. Uh, and if I can just get a grip on him, there we go. All right. There's, there's one unconventionally caught. Folks, you have to be very careful when you're handling these fish. They will absolutely put a hook in you if they can. You saw him fighting. They do that not only when they're foul hooked, but when they're correctly hooked in the mouth. So just be careful when you're fighting those. We'll be back in a moment with Fox Sports Outdoor. This is a good fish. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh. You catch one of these, they really are in charge. Okay. Whoa, under the boat. Making a line sing. All right. Now, all we gotta do is land this big boy and we will have done something. There we go. <laughs> oh my, that's what we came to Jim Chapman Lake for. My goodness, what a nice hard fighting fish this is. Oh, there we go. All right, I got you, buddy. Look at that. What a fun fish. All right, something you need to know. This lake, when it was originally impounded in 91, they thought it was gonna be a great bass lake, maybe even rivaling Lake Fork for largemouth. Didn't really happen. They had a 15 uh, in 97 was the lake record, and it's been that way since 1997. And so, it has become a striper fisheries. Hybrids rule the roost, so to speak. Now it's time for you to get more lake reports from your local region. Hi folks, this week's report is brought to you by Port Aransas on Mustang Island, the fishing capital of Texas, where anglers enjoy pristine bays, estuaries, 18 miles of surf, and the deep blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Plus the local restaurants will even cook your catch come sundown. Come fish and play Texas Island style. For more information, visit portaransas.org. Well, hot weather with occasional strong winds has had anglers fishing protected shorelines as well as the mouths of back lakes. Topwater lures early with fish retreating to deeper water once the sun rises has been the pattern. 
deeper Mid-Bay Reefs in Sabine, Galveston, East and West Matagorda, even San Antonio Bay has started to recover. Live bait, free lined or on a Carolina rig has produced. Now the intercoastal waterway from Port O'Connor southward has been a good option with anglers using heavier 3 8 ounce jig head and slowly inching their bait along the bottom. The crash channels either side of the JFK Causeway has given up fish in both the deeper water as well as on the grass flats. All the way through the land cut, good trout and reds with occasional flounder are being caught. This area is producing for anglers running south or those running north out of Port Mansfield. Grass beds and sand pockets near the mouth of the Arroyo has also been good for those drifting. Out of Port Isabel, good catches around the jetties and causeways have kept anglers busy. This weekend, both Saturday and Sunday have a double tide schedule of two high and two low tides each day. I'm Bill Olson and I'll see you on the coast. Hi folks and welcome to this week's Lone Star Lakes brought to you by Chickasaw Point Golf Club in Oklahoma and High Port Marina on Lake Texoma. Now we've come to Jim Chapman Lake, formerly known as Cooper Lake, to do some hybrid fishing. But while we were here, we had to try some of the other fishing that's available, including largemouth bass and catfish. Start your day for catfish along the dam or the isolated rock patches that you'll find on the state park shoreline. Live baits and prepared baits will get you channels and blues. For bass fishermen, start your day early. Buzz baits and spinner baits in shad colors and white chartreuses, that kind of thing. And then your Cinco's in your watermelon red. If you're fishing at night, use the same spinner bait, same buzz bait, but go with your black blue type colors. And for your plastics, use a red shad. Now nearby Lake Fork is famous for its bass fishing, but what does not make the headlines is the crappie fishing available there. Go to the timbered points in about 15 to 20 feet of water, drop your minnows, drop your crappie jigs, you'll hook up with some nice Lake Fork crappie. If the timbered points aren't producing, go to your bridges and fish the cross members that are connected to the supporting pillars. That's where you'll find some Lake Fork crappie. That's been this week's Lone Star Lakes brought to you by Chickasaw Point Golf Club in Oklahoma and High Port Marina on Lake Texoma. Cameras. It's quiet. And sound rolling? Yep. And Their jet ski crushed my knee into eight pieces, lacerated my spleen, liver, and pancreas. My aorta had like torn. Did they tell you what they did? How hard they tried? That she just, she just wouldn't, she just wouldn't come back, and that's what happened. These teenagers are telling their tragic stories so that others don't share their experience. Me, Bobby, and Cedric, Tom, uh, we're saying that uh, go for a little swim a little further out. The video can be seen online now, but soon will be included for the first time in driver's education classes across Texas. The Never Happens video is a water safety video that we've partnered with uh, TEA and Driver's Ed, a great opportunity. I can't reach those number of teenagers that we are going to reach with Driver's Ed. That's 225,000 15 and 16 year olds. I see the look in his eyes sometimes when I'm sleeping. The agency hopes the video inspires teens to take the course. We found that stories of teenagers to teenagers was going to be a lot more successful in trying to get the message across and change that behavior. Behaviors such as attaching a kill switch that turns off the boat motor. That may have saved Brandon's life when their boat hit an obstruction in the water and he and his friends flew from the boat while it sped out of sight. Please, for you and your family's sake, use a kill switch. Or learning how to operate a jet ski. That may have prevented multiple surgeries for Zach, who fortunately survived his accident because he was wearing a life jacket. The Coast Guard says that 90% of the people who drowned in a boating related accident would be alive if they just had a life jacket on. That's significant. I'm alive because I was wearing a life jacket. Taking precautions and obeying the rules will help water lovers have a fun and safe summer. Boating is a very safe activity where we want people to have fun and be safe on the water. How are y'all doing today? Good. You? you may see one of our game wardens stop by and do a safety check. And see if you've got all the required equipment like your fire extinguisher, all the life jackets are correct and properly fitting. And whether you have a sound producing device, if you can do one thing on the water with you and your family, wear your life jacket. It can save your life. And help honor the teens who have a message to tell. Never go beyond your limits because you're on the water. Wear a life jacket. Know what to do in an emergency. 
because you never think it's going to happen to you or anybody that you care for. For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Karen Loke. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Exide AGM Marine Batteries. Starts like new, stays like new longer. Motor Guide Trolling Motors, because accuracy matters. Nitro Performance Fishing Boats, champions aren't born, they're made. And Fox Sports Outdoors is driven by Fort Worth Nissan and Lone Star Toyota. One now. Oh goodness, they're so strong. They are so strong. Even a little one. This is a little guy. My goodness, he is strong. Okay, come on, quit. If you will just be nice to me, I will let you go. No harm, no foul. Okay, well, that's a quick release. Hey folks, I've got to think. Tony Parker's guide service and of course uh, the good folks at uh, Cooper State Park where we lodged while we were here. It's been a great stay, a great day of fishing. We've got one more to come, but first let's check in on your local fishing reports. Hey, I finally got to make my first trip ever to Arcadia Lake. It's close to Oklahoma City in Edmond, about 2,000 acres. Water temp right now is about 88 degrees. Lake level is normal. The dam half of the lake is very clear, the south end of the lake stained to muddy. Ran into Tim and Timmy Williams right off the bat. They were kind enough to share what they did that morning to have great success. Uh, this morning we got here at a little bit after five. I want to say it's probably 10 minutes after five. And um, our first spot and where we spent 95% of our day was directly across the lake. Um, on that first point that is just south of the dam. Um, we caught 22 white bass um, and five or six catfish, um, largemouth bass, um, and crappie. These are the two really good lures that we use, rooster tail and a little Cleo. Work really great. We did really well today and we beat the heat and uh, we're leaving now a little bit after 11 and maybe we'll come back out tonight. Arcadia has actually been pretty good to us lately and uh, and I just had a blast and me and my dad always have a blast. Now when I got over to the dam around those points that Tim was talking about I could see why that rooster tail and that little Cleo works so well. Great ambush points, wind and waves are coming across them perfectly. Great bait selection for that especially early and late. Now I got there midday, so I had to go out deeper, out in that clear water. First break line, about 14 to 18 foot. Lots of fish activity there, threw my marker in, very first drop, caught a crappie, caught several after that. The only bass I caught was about four foot of water on some horizontal timber in one of those little wooded pockets. Really cool lake, Arcadia, I intend to get back there again. As Tim and Timmy say, crappie, white bass, catfish, largemouth, you can catch them all at Arcadia, but you can't catch them if you don't go. There he is. Oh, I almost missed him. He feels like a good one. Oh, he looks like a pretty good one. All right, just average. Just an average hybrid. Folks, there's something you ought to know about the way we're doing this. It's no secret that during the summer, and it is the heat of the day, by the way, it's no secret that during the summer, hybrids will gang up on humps on most lakes and you can catch them with slabs, and that's exactly what we're using. They will try to get you. The thing is, we're not jigging these slabs up and down like you, like you might have been familiar with. It just doesn't work. We tried that for a while. What works on these fish is to throw it out where you think the fish is. There he is. That's a good little hybrid. He was fun. There's a better look at him. Throw it out where you think the fish are. Let it sink to the bottom. Give your reel handle three, maybe four really fast cranks, and then push the button, let it drop back to the bottom again. You'll usually feel them hit just as you start to pick it up, or as soon as you mash the button and it starts to drop. Whew! We'll be back with the Coast to Catch of the Week up next on Fox Sports Outdoors. 
sure to join Fox Sports Outdoors again next week, Thursday at 5.30, or catch the repeat airing Saturday morning at 8. And you can always watch the latest episode in full HD on the front page of our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Plus, catch up on all past episodes by clicking the archive button and see lots of how-to and product videos by clicking the how-to button. Also, stay up to date with the latest fishing news, videos, and photos by clicking the follow button on our Twitter feed. And get lots of that same info by clicking the like button on our Facebook page. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Tracker Boats. It's more than just a boat. It's a tracker. Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. Mercury Marine. Official outboard of Fox Sports Outdoors. And Lowrance Electronics. Find. Navigate. Dominate. Welcome back, everyone. It's time for the Ask the Pro question. This week, Mike asks, what is your favorite technique to catch smallmouth bass? We track down Kevin Van Dam for an answer. You know, there's a lot of ways you can catch smallmouth, but I love to throw a spinnerbait. You know, it's just, it's so fun. Uh, it's, they just bite it so hard, you know, but, but you have to throw everything. You know, it's just like any, any other day on the water. You gotta use what the conditions dictate, but if I could choose, it'd be a spinnerbait. Thanks, Kevin. If you have a question for one of the anglers, visit our website, follow the Ask the Pro link on the right side of the page, and send it in. Now, one lucky viewer wins a new pair of shades on the Costa Catch of the Week. This week's winner in the Costa Catch of the Week contest is Greg Garofalo of Houston, Texas, shown with an 11-pound largemouth bass from Lake Nacknish. To enter our contest, go to foxsportsoutdoors.com and click on the Costa Catch box on the right of the screen. Follow the instructions to send in your big fish photo and you could win a new pair of Costa sunglasses. To see all the Costa sunglasses at their website, go back to the home page and click on the Costa logo. You'll see all the frame and lens styles, including the style I'm wearing today called Cut. It's time for the Academy Sports and Outdoors Right Stuff. To catch these hybrids on Jim Chapman, we started with our Tracker Pro Team 195 and the Lowrance Electronics. Get out on the lake and cruise looking for humps that are marking fish on your electronics. Once you find them, throw out a marker buoy and then you can get to fishing. We use the Lose Mach 1 Speed Stick Speed Spool combination with Stren 14 pound test. Now when we first got there, the fish were down, so we used a three quarter ounce slab. You can go with white or chartreuse or even chartreuse and white if you'd like. Once they start schooling, you'll want to transition. Use a jig head with a swim bait body to swim it through those schools and catch the active fish. Now this happens to be chartreuse, but pearls, whites, bones, all of those colors will work on these Jim Chapman hybrids. That's the Academy Sports and Outdoors right stuff. Well, that's this week's show, and I hope these techniques will help you catch hybrids in your area. Barry will be back next week, and as he says, be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all. <laughs>